Okay, why does this always happen? Oh, there I am. <laughs> Half the time I go live, and I'm just not here. I'm here, but only, only in spirit. <laughs> Hi, Sensei Senpai. Welcome to the stream. You were the first person here. Did you know that? Well, I didn't actually schedule the stream. I just decided, like, I got time today. Let's do it. And I just spent $100 on Primo Gems. So, <laughs> hopefully we get something good. I did some polls during the last banner, but I didn't actually get the character. Uh, so, I would like to think that my pity is pretty good right now. Did Ayaka come home? Not yet, but hopefully, hopefully today we'll do it. I got 51 wishes. 51. And also, hopefully, um... Hopefully, I'll get enough, what is it, Stardust? To be able to buy the rest of my Aquit Fates today. So that way, I can actually use those. Because I ran out of Stardust. I never thought it would happen, but I ran out of Stardust. So, I haven't even a been able to buy all of the monthly Aquit Fates for this month. There's still, like, four of them? Three or four that I haven't bought and th thus haven't used? I was like, what the heck? How do you run out of Stardust? That stuff felt like you would never run out of it before. Oh crap, I had forgotten in the stream. I mean, technically, you can't forget about something that wasn't ever planned nor announced. <laughs> but I'm happy that you managed to get here early today, Henry. Thank you, thank you for being here. Yes, this is just a complete surprise stream I just decided to have on the spot because I had time today. I actually thought I wasn't going to feel well today and then I wouldn't be able to stream at all. But eh, I'm good. She came home for me free. Ah, uh, lucky you. Congratulations on getting her. As I really want to get her because I heard her voice actress is Lily Pichu. Like her English voice actress, not not not, not like the the Japanese one or anything. Obviously. But yeah, yeah. It's like so I'm so happy for her. You get such a cool voice acting role. At least that's what I heard. That is right, right? <laughs> I saw some people talking about it. I'll also summon some today, but it's a different game. It's the one of people die when they are killed. Oh, 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 you're playing uh, the Fate Gotcha game. Grand Order? Ah, uh, Henry, thank you for the host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have Grand Order on my phone, actually. Although I've, I barely played it. I, I guess it's not really my thing. I mean, um... Yeah, Famous is never one of those things where I could just get really into it, you know? Like, I saw some of the Stay Night anime, and I thought it was really good. But then I just dropped it. I don't know why I dropped it. I was liking it. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, where are you playing Genshin? I actually just played it for a little bit. I just finished the Liyue story. I know, I'm, like, really far behind if I only just now finished it. Con considering they just brought out the Inazuma stuff for a big Genshin update. And here I am, only just now finishing the Liyue story. Clay, shut up! So, yeah, I, like, just finished it. Like, Zhang Li is over here. <laughs> oh, the funny thing... The funny thing is, I, I keep falling off this ledge here. I, I was doing, like, the, the rite of parting at the end of the Liyue story, and it's like, go talk to Zhang Li. I'm like, over there. Okay, just run over there. I always forget there's this dip here, and I fall in the water like that. Every single time. It always happens. So, yeah, here, here's Zhang Li here. He's vibing. Oops. Sorry, Zhang Li, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit the escape button, but I hit E instead. <laughs> and here's me, watch Stay Night Anime, and found it terrible. Well, to be fair, I didn't watch very far, so maybe maybe past where I watched is actually really bad. Who knows? But what I watched at the beginning, I thought was really cool. Especially, like, uh, the fight with Berserker. The first one. I, I, if there's another one, I haven't seen that. But yeah, yeah. Will Psycho Clean Mom ever release? I don't know if she's gonna be a character. Although, did you hear? Apparently, Genshin Impact is doing a collaboration with Horizon Zero Dawn. The playable character from Horizon Zero Dawn is going to be obtainable here. Oh, I just walked into a quest. 
I guess we'll do our polls after this. Can you guys hear the game, by the way? I am making absolute sure that you can hear this game. I'm gonna pull this game up so I can see the desktop audio. Wait, it's muted! Okay, there we go. I forgot to unmute it. I didn't want the music leaking in when I had my background music playing and then I forgot to unmute it. Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. I need to turn this audio up once I get a chance. It's so quiet. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. Or maybe it's fine the way it is, but I just turned my desktop audio. I like screwed the bar up a little bit. So if anything else plays on my computer, like a notification, that's going to be louder too. But I, I just, I hate the idea of the game audio being quiet. I can't stand it. It's like a huge pet peeve of mine. If I watch my VOD later and the game audio is too quiet, I freaking hate it. A gift for Paimon? <laughs> for Paimon? Oh, only Paimon. <laughs> oh, child. You are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. I put computer noises to be muted like plug ones. I need to do that. I hate when I go to plug something in and it's like, bling, like computer. No, shut up. <laughs> I'm the one who's supposed to be talking, not you. People came for my commentary, not yours. You don't need to announce to everybody that when I plug something in. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That simply won't do, especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Right, right, this is the quest to get the house, which pretty much everyone else besides me already has. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. Except if the defaults, it will always play because it resets. Oof! Yeah, that sucks. I think I actually did go into my computer notifications at one point and try to, like, turn it off. But I don't think it worked. I will not go into too much detail. But subspace creation is the ability to create a small autonomous... Chase collab is young Lee. <laughs> hey guys, this is Rune Manura here, playing Genshin Impact with the one and only Zhang Li. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't do that. I do have Zhang Li. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. A trinket, you say? Give me my house. Oh, in the eyes of an adeptus, Creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Huh? But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. Please don't be Corlapis. I'm pretty sure I'm out of that right now. That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all. <laughs> Nobody's better than fetch at fetch quests than me! That's because that's all I'm ever sent to do. Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. Well, Lie. for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, 
You just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there, but almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. That's sad. Even more difficult to find is Maragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or so it used to be. Ever since the Blackcliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Then why are you... Why are you considering making me a teapot house out of this stuff? I mean, unless my character is actually not human, I guess I guess that could actually be a thing, considering we came from another world. And Paimon's clearly not a human. But still. Ah, goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Is it Bennett? Well, since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they might be an adeptus too, right? Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an adeptus. Oh, it gone you. She counts? How come there are so many adepti in Leela Harbor? We seem to bump or, into them or, all or, the uh, It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an adeptus and never even know it. What's her name? I have this character. I used her early. Chi Chi. But maybe it's Chi Chi. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh. Oh. I don't believe we've met. It's neither of them. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Oh, oh, I know Yen Fei. I think she's... She's either in the banner going right now, or she was in the last one. I didn't get her. Yen Fei, I believe you've already heard of the Traveler and her traveling companion. I really wanted to, though. She's really cute. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. Well, dang, she just knows everything I've done in this story. Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. Ah, <sighs> what a shame. A shame! Also, yeah, I totally just defeated an ancient god earlier today, off screen. It was really epic. And the fight with Child. It was really epic. I'm probably the last person to see this stuff because everyone else played this ages ago. <laughs> but it was really cool. The three sides of Rune, Pylebon, Flirty Crazy, Protagonist, Don't Talk With Chat, and Granny. Joking, are you calling me an old woman? Is that the Hollow Live girl? Never mind from behind, looks like. Do you mean Kiara? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Okay. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, yes. Here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. I want a legal advisor anime girl. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. And you didn't show us? Feels bad, man. Well, for one, I didn't know it was going to be some epic fight. And two, I didn't show you guys most of the story, so it would have been kind of weird if I just jumped on with a live stream showing only the end of the Leoway story. But I was going to play the whole Inazuma story for you guys. Since I played the other two stories. The one for Monsat and the one for Liyue in my spare time. So, I was thinking maybe we could do the Inazuma one. It's out now, right? I think I heard people were saying it was out now. Yeah. 
It's just I had to binge the Leo Way story first before I could play Inazuma's story. So yeah, that's what I was doing earlier today. Alright, Yenfei, alright. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. Is that a piece of her clothing or is that an underboob tattoo? Does it even count as underboob if it's that much to the side? Probably not. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this. Ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Side boob tattoo. Paimo was gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time. And then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. Oh, oh, so she's related to an they adeptus. Me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Eh, who is trying to join me? To sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? The Phoenix one. I don't know the name. Yeah, you can call me uncultured. Yeah, you're uncultured. It's Kiara. Takanashi Kiara. And yeah, I can see where her hair does look like Kiara's hair. It does look like her. Like, if you just added, like, the light green at the bottom, she would look exactly like Kiara from the back. Well, my dad did say that he talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway... Let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. The chasm's been sealed off, and there's just no way in. Couldn't secure any documentation either. <sighs> Looks like the Ministry of Civil Affairs is serious about keeping it strictly locked down. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. It's gonna send me on a quest to go get some. I wish people would stop opening my bedroom door. I think only counts if it's a dress or shirt with these. If it is a swimsuit, then just the swimsuit they do shirt skin. I don't think it's a swimsuit though. I think it's just a cloth. It's just an outfit, you know? Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Lyra greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. Don't send me to do it. Don't send me to do it. I know, Granny. You've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go. But there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Whoa. That's a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found him. Is it child? Castle. Okay, no, it's not. A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. To who? They just said that stuff was toxic to people. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite or might have an idea of where we can find some. I don't think this merchant is very smart. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem. But it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. I'd love to play legal jeopardy. I've never played jeopardy before. Wow. An adept is imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. That's a first for sure. Best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Okay, okay, so that conversation is finally done. Yay, now it's a whole quest. Okay, before we get to that though, I spent $100 on Primo Gems. I've got 51. 51. Yeah, here she is, Yanfei. Okay, the only character I really don't want is Changyun because I've already got him maxed out. I already was given one Changyun when trying to do polls for literally any of these other characters. I have Ningguang. But I don't have her constellation maxed out, so that would be nice for her. And then I don't have Yanfei, and I don't have 
Ayaka. Hi, Bonin! Ah! How you doing today? We were just about to do my polls. I know. I need to stop spending money on video games. I've been spending a lot on my My Little Pony game. And I've been spending a lot on this. I really only did the $100 one, though. Because it gives you a bunch of extra if you buy it. Like, for a first-time purchase. And it's like, well... Might as well... Wait, I was going to turn up the game audio first. Wait, unless you guys can hear the game audio just fine. Can you guys hear the game audio? Audio. Seven. That's probably fine. Okay, okay. First rule of ten pulls. Saying you don't want any more jinx you. It would have given me Chongyuns anyway. I'm just expressing that I will not be happy if I receive a Chongyun. Am I okay? Probably not, but I don't really want to get into it on stream. So. I just roll while looking away as my tactic not get sad or annoyed at my crap luck. You're good, you're good. I mean, I accidentally curse sometimes too. It happens. Even if you're wholesome, sometimes it just slips out. Okay. So, no five stars this roll. Well, let's see what characters we get. Okay, Ning Long. And then at some point, I can also stop and do like. Uh, my, my normal rules with the Equate Fates, too. I don't know if we'll get anything good out of those, but who knows. Okay, five star, five star. Let's see who we got. I mean, I've got my fingers crossed for Ayaka, but considering the last time I got really excited for a five star, and the time before that where I got really excited for a five star, and it has to be some other character, I'm not going to put all my trust in this game. Is any character just three star? No, no. Three stars are all the weapons, and not like the good weapons. They're like base weapons, not as good weapons. Four star characters are all four stars or five stars. Okay, another Ningua. Wait, what is that? Oh, Favonius Graysword. I don't think I have that yet. That'll be nice to have. Oh, a Kachin. Okay, so it was not Ayaka. But that is okay. Actually, yeah, it would be nice to have another kitchen. Woohoo. Okay, I still got 31 more rolls. Let's go. Okay, I hope you're better soon. Thank you, Vorlen. I appreciate that. Fire Jean's book. Yeah, yeah. Fire got Jean at one point. She freaking hated it. <laughs> she really wanted somebody else. I can't even remember what character it was the fire wanted. But she really wanted somebody else. Wow, it's just giving me a whole ton of Ningguangs today. Can I have some Yanfei's, please? Like, at least one Yanfei. Please. No more Ning I don't even use Ningguang. I mean, like, if you do a 10 roll, you're guaranteed a 4 star. So we're going to get at least a 4 star every single time we do this. And it might not even necessarily be a character. It could be a weapon, too. Hit the makeup! Yeah, see, so here's a weapon. Sacrificial Grey Sword. So it might not even be giving us a character this time around. Yep, nope. Sacrificial Grey Sword. Okay, 11 more. This is using up 10 right here. Now I can go on this quest with Yanfei as Yanfei. Okay, and then I have one separate one. Yeah, I figured it's just be a normal three-star weapon. What a way to leave off. Okay, then if I go to the shop, I have plenty of stardust now so I can buy the rest of these Equate Fates that I couldn't afford before. So yeah, no, uh, no Ayaka yet, but 
I do got another Kaching now, so that's pretty nice. I do like Kaching. I'm always hoping it'll give me someone really good out of this. Four star. It's usually a weapon though from this. Yes, it's always a weapon. Why do you always give me a weapon when it's this one? It's not supposed to, but it's what I always get. Oh, what? Another five star from the normal clay fate. Oh, Almos's ball. Dude, what the heck? I've never seen this before. Looks like a unit. It looks like a like an alicorn, not a unicorn. Alicorn. You got like the mane here and the horn, and this looks like Pegasi wings. Or maybe I've just been playing too much My Little Pony. Dang, bro. Okay, character. Jeez, I don't even know what character I should hand that to. Okay, kitchen. So we got one for her, Thundering Might. Recasting Stellar Restoration while a lightning stiletto was present causes kitchen to deal 50% of her attack as area of effect electro damage at the start point and the terminus of her blink. I don't know what that means, but okay. Okay, and then Ning Wong. Okay, piercing fragments. When a normal attack hits, it does area of effect damage. That's pretty good. When Jade's screen is shattered, its CD will reset. Can occur once every six seconds. That's pretty good. Increases this level of star shatter by three. Maximum upgrade 15. That's pretty good. Then I got Yant Fate. What kind of weapon do you use? A book. I should have guessed that. So. Leveling up. I could get. I could get another. Wait, why did I just use one? <laughs> I could get another Acquaint Fate out of her if I can ascend her a couple times. Okay. Luckily, I actually have the stuff for that. Yeah. Do not seek to emulate the past, for there is an. Well, I have no idea what you were about to say, but okay. All right, now I got one more. I'm gonna have to look up Amos's bow here, though. Like, what character is it? Why did I get back on the screen? This is not what I wanted. I don't know what character would be good to hand that to. I think that's the first five-star weapon I've ever gotten. Like, certain weapons are better with certain characters. So, I could, like, hand it to Venti, for example. But it might be better with another character. I'll probably hand it to Venti, though, if I don't have one that's better. Okay, um, so let's see. I'm googling it right now. Genshin Impact. Almos's Ball. Okay. Oh, it gave me a ten... It gave me a giant Pikachu advertisement. Aww. Okay. An extremely ancient bow that has retained its power despite its original master being long gone. It draws power from everyone and everything in the world. And the further away you are from that which your heart desires, the more powerful it is. Okay. Which character is good for this? I don't even know if this page is gonna tell me. Hmm. Let's see, Genshin Impact. Who should I give Amos's bow to? Today, I do make hair language. Okay, okay. Uh, ha, ha. thinking. What's a song I want to do? Hmm. 
I'm also trying to read this real quick. Bleh. Let me just look up. Genshin Impact. Best Venti build. Let's see what this site says. Uh, how to get Venti, how to use Venti, Venti story class. Okay, builds. So the best weapon is LG for the end. Or Skyward Harp or the Stringless. I think he's got the Stringless right now. That's what I gave him. How am I doing today? I'm doing pretty okay. There are some problems that I'm trying to do with in my personal life. But other than that, I'm doing just fine. I don't know who I should hand Amos's bow to. I mean, I guess a five-star weapon probably is better than like a four-star weapon, right? So if I take Venti, I could take the stringless and swap it out with almost his bow. And this would probably be a good idea, right? Well, I mean, I should probably actually make it stronger. <laughs> probably should enhance it. I like that bow is the bow looks it looks so small like compared to what bows normally look like okay i still need to i still need to choose a tune to do the cat language for this is no 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 and no 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 fbi open up okay if you want to send it you can send it Woohoo! I sent you level one. Okay, let's go. Two star materials is under. Okay, okay, uh. Dang, is there a song you want me to do? It doesn't even matter what I choose. I'm just like drawing a blank. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank so hard today. I feel like I've been in this daze all day. That's what I feel like. Okay. Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> Nothing better than doing it into the tune of the troll music. And troll, la la la, la la la, la la la, la 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 la. la. I really don't want to use all of these. Now there's a train going by my house. Ah, choo choo! la 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 Yep, yep. Choo choo train says choo choo. When do we unlock a train noise, Redeem? Well, when it comes to the sound bites, like the Redeems, I have room for one more sound Redeem. Because redeeming with bits, you can only have six. 
I know, it sucks. You can only have six maps. So I could have more under like bits. You guys would have to use bits for them though. I do have some for bits set up already. I think you can find them underneath like the stream. I think that's where they are for you guys. Yeah, I wish I could have some more with points though. I mean, for as much as I love you guys using like bits and stuff and donating and supporting the channel, I also understand like, you know, to spend a bunch of money on something like that, it's, it's expensive. It's not easy to avoid something like that. I also just realized I can add way more than, I can add way more than six. Why am I only getting six of these? I didn't realize it'll let me use 20 at a time. I don't think it used to be like that. Maybe I'm thinking of artifacts. Or maybe they changed this. Maybe this just changed an update and I just had no idea. Okay, there's that. Oh wow, we have enough to ascend it again. Let's go! Okay, so now, well, I have everything except for change of the dandelion gladiator. Okay, so that's probably good enough for now, actually. And look at this bow. Look at that bow. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so where am I supposed to go for this quest? Oh, I also still haven't even done... I haven't done my quest, like the daily commission quest, so I guess we can do those too. And then there, here's me, have no money to give the wife full. Feels bad, man. <laughs> no, no, don't feel bad. I'm happy just to have you guys watching. So I, there's plenty of ways to like support your favorite streamers without spending money. You can like, you know, watch in the stream is one. And then you can like recommend to your friends and share the stream, hosting, retweeting when they announce they're going live or just retweeting content in general so more people see their stuff. Stuff like that. There's, all, there's a lot of little things that you can do completely for free to support your favorite streamers. A business seems to be grinding to a halt. What's wrong? I was just saying business is getting tougher and tougher in this tavern of mine. For us in the food and drink business, having a long history is both a blessing and a curse. The good part is, a long history gives you more of a reputation, which helps bring in business. The bad part is, people get bored of having the same thing over and over again. In big restaurants where they have plenty of variety, that's obviously not a problem. But my tavern is only a small one. My long-term regulars are finally starting to get bored with the drinks and one by one they're leaving. I've heard there's a big wine industry in Monsta, and they have a famous dandelion wine, supposedly brewed with dandelions. I'm not even sure if brewing with dandelions is possible, but I'd like to at least give it a try. Could you go to Monsta and fetch some dandelions for me? I probably already have some! Great, you have my word that I'll pay you for your trouble, and in Leeway, our word is our bond. Okay. Yes, you already have some. I will experiment a bit to start with and see if I can add daddy lions into a leeway style brewing process. Stop trying to join me, stranger! Oh, and this is for you. I was not, not expecting to get this right the first time. It will probably take me many attempts. If I run out of daddy lions, I may have to ask you to do another run for me. Okay, well that one's done. Let's see what the rest of them are. Okay, there's one over there. Could you slope? Why are all these teleport spots at least a decent ways away from this spot? I don't feel like walking today. I just want to have fun. I just want to play my game. I just want to explore. Am I going the right direction? Yeah, I am. Okay. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Wouldn't gliding be faster? Oh, oh, uh, uh, probably not, considering we're not in a position to glide to where I need to go from where we are currently. 
You think you know best, but you don't, Venti. Oh, it's for two of you guys over there. What if I should beat him up? Like test Wait, they're not for Tui. Why did I say they're for Tui? They're just treasure hunters. Yeah, I need to like level up Venti's artifacts some more and just kind of level him up in general. I got Venti a little more recently compared to some of the other characters here. So, he's not as strong as them and I, I still have to do more work on that. It also doesn't really help that I haven't been playing Genshin much recently. Like, I just got so much going on, it's hard to do that, you know? But I do want to make Vince stronger. I'm just happy I can give him that bow. Although, if I have another character that would better benefit from it, I'll probably give it to them instead. Gliding be faster. Okay, defeat the Vatui agent. Okay, well now there's a Vatui guy. I don't even know if Venti will be able to do this if I die, but uh, oh, oh, it's you. Hey. Okay, let me stop. The game's not too loud now, right? I hope not. Time to act. Oh, you guys want to hear something funny? So last night, after I got home from work last night. I was playing Phasmophobia with my friend. Not on stream or anything, just in my own time. And we were at the prison map. And the ghost was in the entry hall, so we were just kind of squatting by the door. Like, like standing right outside the... As close as we can be to the building. But like standing outside, you know? And at one point the ghost starts to hunt and like tries to catch us. And, uh, like the door closes, but hey, we were outside, so the ghost couldn't do anything. It was kind of funny. We were terrible at figuring out what kind of ghost these things were, though. I think we got it wrong more than once. We only played like three games, too, so like if we got one right, it was like one. But I did level up one more time so now i'm level five in the game could you see the ghost i didn't see what it looked like unfortunately um it started hunting us like twice on that map but the first time it started hunting us it hunted us for like literally three seconds and then stopped <laughs> like we were running to the entry hall trying to run through to get to the exit because we'd actually got into the building and like my friend grabbed like a ouija board from the warden's office and stuff And as we were running through the, the entry hall, I was like, yeah, it, it starts hunting. The light, flashlight starts flickering. I think I might have saw it in front of us for like a split second before I turned around and started running away. But again, it was only hunting for literally three seconds. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. No, my sword. Cutter. So it was very easy to get away from it. And then we just kind of squatted outside. And then later when it tried to hunt us again, it was like... <laughs> I'll try to close the door on you, but nope, we're already outside. Cause we smart bros. We know how to evade the ghosty tactics. I'm trying to remember what kind of ghost it was. We didn't even have it on like hard difficulty or anything. Maybe that's why he only started hunting after um for like three seconds. 
Maybe that's why. He said it's like the easiest difficulty. I think it's because he was scared. Not because I was scared or anything. Man, it picked up Cryo instead. I wanted it to. I wanted the Vortex to pick up my Cryo ability. If you guys actually look up Phasmophobia Ghosts and see pictures of them, they're really scary looking. Like when you get caught, you only ever see their hands. Their hands that like, gouge your eyes out. But if you actually look at the pictures of what they look like, they're real. They're kind of freaky. They're like humanoid abominations. Okay, well there's that. I guess let me pick up these materials that are here. You can never have too many insignias. You never know when you might need one. Uh, okay. And then the last one's over out this way. Why do I feel like this is gonna be one of those Haley Truck, Haley Truck quests? I'm calling it now. Or, or maybe not. No, I think that's a, that, that challenge is probably not related. Never mind. Oh, okay. No, no, it is a challenge. It's just not that one. Complete the challenge by defeating all points within time of it. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. It's not a hilly troll quest. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was easy. I also want to apologize in advance if I go a little quiet sometimes. My brain feels kind of fried today. So I might not like be able to come with as much commentary as I usually can. I just want to let you guys know in advance. I'm going to try my best to be as talkative and engaging as I can. If I get quiet here and there, you guys know what. They look cool. Pity the game is so dark most of the time. I guess it's meant to be even, like scary. Oh. Traveler, please, over here. Man, I just wanted to turn to my commission request. Not commission request. <laughs> commission quest. And now I just started something else? What did I just start? It has been a while since you joined the Adventurers Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Well, I'm recruiting new allies. Is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Okay. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, Dressed in most unusual clothes. My brother? Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. Wait, do you mean... Does that stranger's face look anything like hers? Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even has an eye patch. Oh dang, got me excited Seriously? for a second. Stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's requests. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big help on your journey. If he's already rejected the guild, I don't know why he would accept me. I don't want to see you apologizing for that. If you're not well or something happens, we should be the ones to apologize and take care of you. Apologize not for that. <laughs> Joking, but it's the truth. Oh, well, you guys don't have to apologize for anything, though. I mean, like, yeah, if, if I start to feel kind of icky, 
And if, if I'm a little quiet, like, that's not anyone's fault. It's not mine, it's not yours, it's not anybody's. It's just how the way it is. But I do appreciate the thought of, like, wanting to take care of me and stuff like that. So thank you for that. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, after all. I just feel bad if I can't really talk as much, no matter what the reason. It's like, I take this gig seriously. I'm a performer. I'm an entertainer. So therefore, I should be talkative. I should have things to say at all times. Or most times. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Alright then, about that stranger. I'm trying to think. A real tall blonde man with an eye patch. Isn't there someone in the Avengers Guild that looks like that? Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. He stands guard at the city gate, so he may know something about that stranger. Knight of Podies? No! Knight of Favonius! I wish you every success, adventurer. I wonder if this is the beginning of the Inazuma stuff? Dance. Dying safe. Add Astra. Okay, well that's that's not even what I talked to you for. Yay! Add Astra. Okay, let me send my people back out. Oh, oh, and speaking of, like, Barbara and Jean, I actually did get their swimsuit outfits. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually mentioned that. Who else do I mean? Okay, there we go. Like, let me see this for a second. I haven't actually tried, like, swapping them, but let me see this for a second. These bombs, so heavy. Here. Ta-da! With the sea's breed. Let me swap out some people in my party. G G. Ready for anything. Now you can be the swimsuit Jean, whatever you want. But yeah, for Barbara's, I just had to find enough of those seashells in that like limited time beach area. Turns out that whole area, while it wasn't just for that event that we streamed, it was a limited time area. So I can't go back there. But I did get Barbara's swimsuit. For jeans though, you had to purchase it. <laughs> so I spent money to get this outfit. Look how cute it is though. I like her revisions on like the skirt on the back. And I like the garter belt. This is just really cute. I like that there's alternative costumes now. The only downside is like, I like Jean, but I also like Venti. And they're both animal characters. I don't think, I don't know if it's really the best idea to have two different animal characters in the team at the same time, you know? That's my one big pet peeve. Let's see, is there anyone else I want to bring with me? Let's bring go. Kuching. Time is against us. Okay, so. I don't know. I feel like I started so many things now. Okay, first, do I have enough Primo Gems to get one more wish? No, I don't. Okay. And then quest-wise... Okay, I want to finish a teapot to call home. Yeah, I think Dunsleaf is the Inazuma stuff. So, see where it wants us to go for this. Okay. There's also apparently a bunch of more quests I could start around here. You can see all the exclamation points on the mini map up there. Okay, here we go. Snizz nine, dude. Hello, Mr. Crossel. 
How's business been? Root spending money again at this game. How many have you spent in total? Honestly, I don't know anymore. I mean, I've been playing this game for about a year now. Can you believe it's been that long? But yeah, I've spent I've spent money like a good bit over that time. And like this time I spent $99. I probably shouldn't have spent that much, but eh. Eh, you know. You could put both in a team against elemental animal beasts. I could, I could. But the, like the problem is, uh, once you're engaged in a fight with, with an enemy, once they see you, if you're in combat, it won't let you change the team. So you just gotta deal with whoever you put in your team. That's why I think it's a bad idea. It's like, if I could swap at any moment, I wouldn't care so much. I think it's probably so you can't just swap out your characters and make it so like, like let's say you got a ton of characters and the guys in your team are dying. Let's say three out of your four characters are dead and the last one's low on HP. If you could just swap out whenever you wanted, you could just take those dying characters, swap them out with other characters and then your team could just keep going and going and going. It eliminates a lot of the challenge, so I can see why it's not a thing. But yeah, it, it makes us like, I think ahead. I like to have my characters be like all different elements at the same time. I don't want there to be more than one of the same element, you know? I feel that puts me at a disadvantage. Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now. I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? I'm gonna lurk. Heat making me tired. If I don't speak again, I hope you have a good shave and feel better soon. Thank you, Borlin. I, I hope the heat doesn't get too bad for you. Oh, I'm like... I can't imagine how hot it is over there. Weirdly enough, I don't even feel like it... Did you guys see that guy in the background just now? He got like stuck on that barrel and started walking in place until he eventually just faded away. Did I just witness a soldier die? Okay. Twenty nine Celsius at the moment. We don't have AC though. Oh, that's gonna that yeah, that's gonna do it. Dang, not having air conditioning. Yeah, I was gonna say um down here in Florida, it's not as hot as it would normally get. So it's like I'm not even really dealing with it that bad so far. But it sounds like it's a lot worse for you over there. So I feel bad for you. I'm just what even what that guy just should have died in front of us. Okay. Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize. I have already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Xiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Zhe Xiao. I've never heard of that before. Wait, isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? No, I'm not worried in the slightest because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhu Chiao before renting them to her. Uh, hi, Lord Valkor! Did you unfollow me for buying more ponies yet? I hope not. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. That, that's a good contract to have beforehand, so make sure nothing bad happens to your item. How you doing today, Valkor? I hope you're having a good day. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me to Miss Zhi Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. Woo-hoo-hoo, he's got all that covered. Yeah, no ambiguities there. Guaranteed genuine, with ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false, Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. I'm great. How about you? It's good to hear you're doing great today. I'm doing okay. Uh, just okay. Not too bad, not too great. 
but that's just how it is sometimes. How did the hundred dollars primo gems go? I had it got me fifty one wishes, and we used all of them earlier. I did not get Ayaka, unfortunately, but I did get like three different Ningwongs, one Yanfei, and a Kachin. Oh, and the uh, I also got some Acquaint Fates for the normal banner that I used, and the last one I had, like I got four of them. The last one I had gave me a five star weapon that I handed to Venti, which is the four the first five star weapon I've ever had. I've never gotten a five star weapon before today so yeah it, it went pretty well the kaching is really good i know right and like i already had a kaching so this kaching went into her constellation so i had i have a one constellation kaching now in that case might you know where miss your child lives we'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins oh of course she wrote her address down when we signed our contract here, I'll bark it on your map for you. Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. You've gotten three kachings. Dang, dude! Lucky! Talk to you tell. I just wonder how long this quest is. I hope it's not too long. Um, I think he's up in the building. I'll get over there from here. I need to reinstall this game. I deleted it because I didn't get Zhao even though I paid $60. Oof. Yeah, I understand the pain of not having Zhao. It really is a shame when your $60 doesn't give them to you. It's too bad I didn't have to suffer through the same fate. <laughs> Rune just being a jerk showing off our five star. I've gotten most of the five stars. Oh, not, not some of the recent ones, though. Some of them I didn't get. Like, I didn't get the last guy. Kazuha? I wanted to. He looked cool. Would've been cool to have another five-star animal character. But I didn't get him, unfortunately. I, I wasn't I wasn't lucky enough. Okay, where is this lady? <laughs> you have Zhao? You're so lucky. Yeah, I've got a bunch of five stars. Okay, let me, let me see. Okay, so I've got Klee, I've got Kachi, I've got Chi Chi. I think I think Chi Chi was the first One, five star. Two, no, Mona was my first three, five star. Yeah. Three. Then I got Venti. I got Zhang Li. I got Mona. Mona was my first five star. Klee was the second one. I don't know why I thought Chi Chi at first. Okay, after that, I've got Jean. Half the time I even forget that Jean is a 5 star. I don't know why I forget Jean's a 5 star. She's a 5 star, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's 5 star. Okay, then after her. Yeah, I've got Zhao. And I've got Ganyu. That's it. That's all my 5 stars. But yeah, I did throw a bunch of money into this game at certain points, so you know. Oh, whatever shall I do? Some of it's luck. Some of it's just paying enough to make sure I get the characters. Rude whale a lot, and she also got many codes I gifted her. So of course she has all the five stars. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually forgot to use the last one you gave me. I wonder if it's still usable. Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? Did you lose the hairpins, lady? I'm calling it right now. She lost the hairpins. How do you do, Miss Your Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? <sighs> ah, I ah, can't ah. lend them to you right now. I... I've lost them. Called it! Called it! I freaking called it! Why couldn't you keep hold on to just a pair of hairpins? I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. Why would you want to wear them anyway, though? They said the material was toxic to people. Why would you want to wear a hairpin made out of stone that's toxic? It's like, 
Mal Malachite? Malachite? I think it's Malachite. There's a stone called Malachite. Like, not in the game. A real stone called Malachite. That is considered to be toxic and you're not supposed to hold it. That's what I heard anyway. It's a green stone. I don't own any. For obvious reasons. But, yeah. A lot of people do own it. Remi uh, the stone. The jadeite that they're talking about reminds me of Malachite. What's in the shop right now? I think... I can't remember, I have to look. I'm sad though, because Bennett was a part of one of the other banners, one of the recent banners. I didn't get Bennett. I want Bennett. I like Bennett. I, I just wanna have Bennett. I, my family is in the ore business too, but business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We now have a backlog of paid up orders just sitting around. So we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's what the hairpins were for, to... Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me. But now that I've lost the hairpins, what will I do? I wonder if someone stole the hairpins from her. Maybe that's where they went, considering she never wore them and had them on her at all times. <gasps> Have a sudden strong sense of deja vu. <laughs> oh, deja vu. I've been to this place before. Hi, and the sea. It reminds me of that, and it also reminds me of is this some sort of deja vu? <laughs> Which that also reminds me of the deja vu song all over again. It's a never ending cycle. Maybe because this is a part where we could say we can help. <laughs> Punctuation error. Punctuation goes inside the quotation marks, not outside. This just looks weird. Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Mr. Chow, would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Here you are. Let me see. Hmm. That's right! Yanfei said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Jichao somehow. That would be a little unfair to Crossel. I, I mean, how? How so? How would this be unfair? And maybe it's just because I feel half brain dead right now, but it's not occurring to me. The cat language? Okay. Now, now, now! Now, now, now! Now, 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 now! I just do that in a never ending loop. Surely there must be a win win solution. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite... Oh, uh, there is a kid the shouting outside my room! Ah ha ha! I would be my mic for a second. ...significantly higher as a result. Even higher? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Jitcho looks like she's about to faint. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go see what they're doing out there. I think they're getting into a fight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go see if I can calm them down. I'll be right back. No, no, don't, no, don't call the FBI. I swear, I swear they're not children that escaped from my basement. Wait, I forgot to readjust my tracking. Give me one more second. How can I forget to adjust my tracking? Okay. Only 
takes a second. I just want to make sure that it's tracking right. Because it would be weird if it wasn't. The kid did not escape the basement because I don't have a basement. I'm actually scared of basements. I don't like them. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Ooh, this could be a scam. Oh, oh, this Nishnayan dude, the merchant, might be trying to scam this woman. Because if he, if he gave her the hairpins when they didn't actually have the real Jadeite in it, and then stole them off of her, she would be forced to pay him back a lot of money. Man, I don't like this merchant dude anymore. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the jadeite is genuine or not? Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, There'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jadeite is genuine, would there? Uh, seems right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item and I should pay compensation per the contract. Man, I feel so bad for her now. She's such a nice young lady who just wanted to rent out some hairpins and now she's got all this trouble on her hands. Such a huge amount of money, though. I mean, I've got a ton of money. Maybe I could pay for it out of pocket. I know that's not what the quest is going to have me do, but I probably could pay for it out of pocket. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue and then negotiate the amount of compensation. Yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. Yes, question it. I think this lady's getting scammed. So hold on a moment, Monsieur Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest quality jade. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. What if it's actually jade? Do you ever think of that? I really like jade, by the way. Do you guys like jade, like just as a stone? It's like this nice, light green color. It's really soothing to look at. I like when you get like little jade statues. I like those. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. Why does our character have to be so dumb? Clearly she's on to something. Clearly we, you, and everyone in the chat, we're on to something. Why is it our character in Biomon can't be on to something too? Why do we have to be dumb and just left in the dark? The dude looks pretty. I, you know, right? I love jade. Oh, one of my favorite stones, though, lapis lazuli, like the dark blue stone with the little remnants of gold streaks just in it. It's so pretty. I do really like jade, though. I just feel like looking ah, at jade Ms. right Yanfei, now. Miss Yanfei, you've returned with Miss Jichao and Toe too. I see. How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them. Hmm. About that. Zichia relates the loss of the hairpins to Crossel. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? Oh, 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 no. Keep your theatrics to yourself, dude. You can point this finger at your own butt, not her. I think he's scamming her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? You'll have to pay with your life! I... I just don't... <sighs> forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again, it was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jadeite inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. 
All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossell. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She better pay every last mora that they're worth. A again, what's with this dude pointing? Seriously. It looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. Okay, find a convenient place. I hope this is marked on the map. Okay, it's way over there. He looks like a criminal, a mafia man. You can't pay anymore? Well, fam, you're dead. <laughs> I'll kill you and everyone you love because you lost my favorite accessories. Miss Yunfei, what is this about? Are you... Are you here to tell me how much I owe? No. What I wanted to talk about is there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. Okay, again, really? Not Smaragdus Jadeite, really? Why is her character so dumb? Like, is this just the average human intelligence here in this character? Or am I just really smart? Because I figured it out way in advance. I don't know. I would, I'd like to think I'm smart. I'd also like to think average human intelligence is this dumb. I think I would like to think most people could figure this out. This just feels very hand-holdy. Come on, character. Have some smarts. You have a brain. Use it. What do you mean? Are you implying that you already Sneaked off and found them? Really? <laughs> really? Man, I'm gonna just spend this whole stream cringing at the stupidity of these characters. Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. Yeah, see, see how easy it is just to put two and two together and figure this out? I figured it out. Everyone in the chat figured it out. At least I'm assuming you guys figured it out. Especially since I already said the whole thing. Yanfei figured it out. Why is it that our character and Paimon can't figure it out for themselves? I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. If mere mortals come into contact with it, well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Oh, change of personality because you touched a rock? A rock? Huh? I mean, I understand it's like a special rock, but like, still. Oh, there's another choo-choo train going by my house. But yeah, um, the fact that they mentioned like touching it could at worst could even experience a dramatic change of personality. That reminds me of like Made in Abyss. Like how if you go down too far, it could change. It could physically alter your appearance. It could change your species and you're not, no longer human. Loss of humanity, that's what it is. Have any of you guys seen Made in Abyss? It's not like super relevant to this or anything. It just reminded me of that. Thomas name? <laughs> Fine. I mean, playing RPGs and games with lore tend to make us get more knowledge, like watching anime and knowing the next thing that could happen. That is true. That is true. And this isn't like the most complicated plot in the world either. So it's easy for us to figure it out. I haven't watched it, but I got spoiled already. Oof, I'm sorry to hear that. I've seen all of season one, but I haven't seen the movie that came out. I really, really want to. Also, I just noticed from this angle, it looked like Paimon is just like sticking her head in this lantern. <laughs> 
But for anyone who hasn't seen Made in Abyss, it's on Amazon Prime. If you have that, you can watch it legally. It's really good. Although, it is very dark. It looks like a kid's anime, but don't don't be confused. It's, it's definitely not for kids, and I would not watch that with a kid around. So, yeah. Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Aha! Uh -huh. Figured it out! Hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. He would lose the Jadeite? I mean, I know you'd throw it into the sea to remove the evidence. So that, no, you know, give her the evidence. But, at the same time, that, if, you, that's, if that stone is really that hard to get, then having it gives you a bunch of different business opportunities and stuff like that. So, he, te I mean, like, I understand what she's saying, but technically he still would be losing something. He'd be losing anything he could possibly do having that Jade Knight. Both of you to not watch around kids while you got a basement of them. You really aren't gonna let that go, are you? Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. I'll share them with you in due course. Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this... Ah! Kid yelling out there! I'm gonna mute my mic again. Okay, okay. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I, I think she's mad. There's a kid mad out there because she wants to play video games and she's not allowed to right now because she's in trouble. So she's really angry about that. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the dialogue. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. If I had one more for every time we hear the word contract, <laughs> in Leo Wave, you would be rich. It's practically all they talk about. Kente is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. 
I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. And I'll also need your signatures on pages 5, 7, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. <sighs> Contract has so many pages! Paimon's all out of brain juice again. Hi, Paimon Master! Doing some Genshin, I see. Yeah, yeah! Uh, I bought $100 worth of Primo Gems and did a bunch of pulls. I got Yanfei, I got another Kaching. And I got some Ningwangs and a five-star uh, bow, but I didn't get Ayaka. Kind of upset about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure if we just keep trying real hard, like in my spare time, I save up my Primo Gems. We can try again for another Genshin stream. I do want to play the Inazuma stuff for you, so maybe we can just try to find as many Primo Gems as we can during playing that section. And then we could do more pulls. Maybe we'll get her. Because I've already gotten a 5 star for this banner, the next 5 star, if I can get to the point of getting another 5 star, if it gives me another one, it will guaranteed be the banner character. That's how Genshin works. So, we just need to get another 5 star, and we would have Ayaka. Dang, I got a temple and a new banner came out. I got Chi Chi instead, but not sad. <laughs> Man, that's like a meme. There's been two different times where I'm I'm doing polls trying to get the banner character, and it's like, oh my god, five star, five star, five star, woo! Get so excited, and then it's Gigi. <laughs> you say it like like she's a new Smash character. It's Gigi rolling in. All right, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. I'm currently doing the quest to get the teapot house. I know I'm really late to do this. I just wasn't really playing Genshin when everyone else was, I guess. And there were so many other, like, cool events going on. I just kind of put the Leoway story on hold for a long time, so I'm only just now getting to this stuff. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. In 2018, I spent 500 for my wife, but that was 4 star. I got some 4 stars books and 2 5 stars, but not her! Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that. I understand the struggle, though. Because I really want to get Bennett, and I haven't gotten Bennett. I'm sad. I want Bennett. I mean, I'm happy because I got Venti, because Venti is one of the other characters I really like. I like that, like, cute, innocent little boy feel to some of the characters. Because most of the characters, I feel like a lot of them are more serious, so they just don't have that personality that I like. But Bennett and Venti both fall in line with that personality. So, yeah, I'm happy I have Venti, but I want Bennett, too. I feel like Bennett's bad luck is rubbing off on me. That's why I don't have Bennett. It's funny how you are exactly where I am in the story. Really? I mean, I only just now finished the Leoway story. Like, not literally just now, but I did a few hours ago. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. You need me to do anything? Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve. Once we've got some things squared away. I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. I'm trying to think now. Have I been in a quest like this before? At any point? Um. Does the Dark Knight hero stuff count? Trying to figure out who the identity... Who did? What the identity of the Dark Knight hero is? That might count as like an investigation, I suppose. I don't know. Yes, I put it off as well. I just finished the Leo story yesterday on stream. I always forget that you stream too. I need to try to catch one of those streams. But yeah, I didn't even do mine on stream. I just did it in my own spare time. It was so epic. Like I might pull it up on YouTube just to show you guys how epic it is. Probably not. I probably won't actually do that. Actually, now I think about it, it might not be a good idea because, like, of copyright reasons. But, it's really epic. I, I suggest you guys go look it up if you haven't seen it. Or, like, find someone else whose playthrough is still ongoing for that part and you watch them play it. Really cool. Miss Yunfei, I have to ask. Why are you helping me? 
Because, as it happens, I have I'm chips. currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong Potato traces of chips. energy around Mr. Crossel. So, perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. Nom, 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 nom. If Benjamin Rune to show up on your stream, is asked to be disappointed. Joking, I know you work, don't worry. Hey, hey, you know I'm busy a lot of the time, okay? I very rarely show up in anybody's stream. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter. But either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. I just hope there's not a roach in this bag. I left it on the floor overnight. And like, I tried to roll it up to seal it. But I'm sure if a roach really wanted to, it probably could have gotten in. Not that we have like a lot of roaches at my house or anything, but you do see them sometimes, especially with the summer coming in. Florida just, they're just a common bug to run into. You know, they're like ants. Just not like in, not like in swarms like ants, but you see them a lot. I guess maybe like comparing them to cicadas might make more sense. Yeah, yeah. They're like cicadas. Speaking of cicadas, I was actually really surprised to find out the other day when we were doing the B-movie script reading, how many people in Team Chaos don't know how to pronounce cicada? I never thought it was that complex of a word. It's, just, it's cicada. I mean, I think, I think Mori. I don't know if English is his first language, so I can understand it for him. But like, I don't think Fire knew how to pronounce it either. Like, is, is cicada not a commonly known word? I don't expect anyone to tune into my streams. Oh no, that, that sad attitude. I'm sure your streams are great. No, I'm not doing an ASMR. Yes, a roach, it, it's possible. One time, one time, one time, I put on my shoes to go to work. And I think my sock was messed up, so I ended up taking my shoes off again to fix my sock. When I pulled them off, there was a dead roach where my heel was in my shoe. I think I crushed it to death by wearing my shoe and putting all my weight on it. I don't like to think back to that memory. You mean locust? No, no, not a locust. You know there's a difference. A locust is like a grasshopper. Cicadas are different. Cicadas are cicadas. Well, I thought it was cicada instead of cada. Cada. See, I read everything ca. <laughs> like a crawl. Ca, ca! <laughs> cicada? Sounds like the word ricotta, though. Ricotta cheese! Yeah, also, I hated it. The idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage? I won't stand for it. I didn't sell roaches, but at 2 a.m. I saw a huge centipede. Is it even a centipede then? Cause I know centipedes, there's centipedes and then there's millipedes. I think millipedes are smaller though. Like the, you know, like millimeters. Yeah. So if you got a really big one and it's bigger than centimeters, is it even a centipede anymore? Cause we could just be happy we don't have giant centipedes that we call them millipedes. Cause they're a mile long. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that road story, not my favorite. That and the time a fly flew up my nose, it never came out. Have you ever had a bug fly up your nose and it just keeps going? So you can feel the burning sensation of a foreign object in your nose. You just feel that burning sensation traveling up over your mouth. Then it just disappears into the depths of your nose. And it never comes out and you never see it again. Not those Australian ones, but it was a centipede for sure. It had like the stash horn. Oof, oof, I don't want to think about that. That sounds like a scary one. Ha! Ah, it sounds like a nightmare. It was. Well, I mean, it wasn't. It really happened. But I didn't like it when it did. I'm, I'm hoping it's dead. I hope it died. Because if, if it like lived somehow and laid eggs or something, I would hate that. I'm really afraid of picking up like parasites and like having bugs lay eggs in my skin. It's one of my worst nightmares. And I really hope I don't ever pick up any parasitic bug. 
I would have rather the fly go to my stomach and I digest it than have it lay eggs. I'm guessing that's probably what happened. You would be dead if that was so. Would it? Would I really be dead if it did that? I guess I'd have a swarm of flies living in my skin then. And then they'd probably eat my skin because I don't know what else they would eat. Remember when spiders enter your ears when you're asleep? Ah, no, don't remember that. Don't remind me that. Ah. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm. Where can we find someone who processes ore? Chang the ninth. Potato chip. Oh, I dropped my potato chips. I take a potato chip and eat it. Ha, huh, I've got it. Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to working with stone and ore. No, oh, I don't like that guy. If Mr. Crossell had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Yeah, that guy. You would have a lot of problems. Like what? That was one time. That was one time I woke up. And like there was a spot on my wall. But I didn't have my glasses on yet. So I couldn't really see it. So I grabbed my glasses. And I put them on. And it was a giant spider. On the wall. Maybe like one foot from me. Right next to my bed. It was huge. Why, hello there, honored customers. <laughs> Welcome to... Th oh, it, it, it's you, Miss Yenfei. Is, is, is something the matter? This guy is so skeevy and untrustworthy. I don't like him. Surely not more spurious claims that that my jade betting is rigged and, and no one can ever win. Oh, I swear on all that is sacred. Aren't flies contagious or something? I don't know if they're disease hosts or just dirty. Well, they're definitely dirty. Um, maybe they could carry diseases. I don't see why not. I mean, mosquitoes can carry diseases and stuff. Well, you would not be doing well. The maggots would start eating you from the inside. Pain, lots of pain. See, that's what, that's what I was saying before. Like, yeah, yeah. They would have nothing else to eat, so they would just eat flesh. I probably would be dead by now if that happened. So I guess the fly died. No, nothing of the sort. Has a Snesh 9 merchant named Crossel enlisted your ore processing services recently by any chance? A Snesh 9 merchant named Crossel, you say? Hmm, I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore, claiming that it was Smaragdus Jadeite. Claiming. Interesting use of wordage. I mean, usage of words. Yeah, yeah, I'm terrified of parasitic bugs. Parasites are one of my worst fears. Like bot flies, which... I don't think we're native to North America. I think they're native to South America too, though. So you can watch out for bot flies, Henry. They're like these flies. They're really cute looking. They got like real big eyes and they're fuzzy, but they lay eggs in your skin. They're not fun. They have no business being that cute. It dead. Either it went to stomach, but your body is good at getting foreign things out of your body. Yeah. Good thing it's dead. Although I would have preferred that never happened in the first place. Parasites are another matter. I know, right? We had a lice scare, like a head lice scare not that long ago. Uh, we didn't have head lice. Which is good. But, like, it was, we had a sleepover. Uh, me and some of Pyra's siblings. Sleepover. With someone... Who thought they got rid of their lice, but then saw one after we left. So, yeah, we had to do the whole treatment thing and everything. And that was a whole bucket of worms we had to go through. But thankfully, we didn't actually have anything. It's good. Getting head lice is a nightmare. And it's like, the, the treatment. No, I never want to go through that again. You put, like, oil. Oil on your hair. And then wear, like, an oil cap so the oil can't escape. You just keep it there. It's meant to suffocate the lice. 
because you can't really wash them out. And a lot of treatments, like head lice have gr grown um, very resistant to a lot of treatments. So you have to be like real hardcore when it comes to taking out lice because they'll just resist a lot of stuff that's meant to take them out. So suffocating them with oil is what you want to do. I'm just happy we didn't actually have anything though because I do, would not want to deal with that. Do fleas count? Mmm. Do fleas count as a parasite? I think so. They feed off another living being. I, I think that's what you need. Like, that's what, that's what you need for a bug to qualify as a parasite. It's when they live off another uh, another living being. My feet got hundreds of red dots after my kitty got fleas. Yeah, yeah, fleas, fleas are relentless. Fleas are bad too. You can either say bye to your hair or lots of that oil stuff. Yes, yes. And fleas are one heck of a pest at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've had fleas before too. Where we actually did have fleas. And thankfully with some treatment they weren't that hard to get rid of. But I know for some people fleas can be extremely difficult to take care of. So we got lucky. And even luckier with the head lice. My worst fear is bed bugs. You get bed bugs. Bed bugs are the king of Five Nights at Freddy's. No, the bed bugs are the king of like bugs that are hard to get rid of. That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. Uh huh, uh huh. We had a close encounter with bed bugs. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get through this dialogue. I just don't want to talk over them. So it's either I sit here through the dialogue before we continue the conversation, or I just talk about it now. He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the ore as per his request. Maybe I should just wait, though, because it's kind of hard to focus on what this guy is saying and what I'm saying. It's like two different topics going on at the same time. But yeah, we had a close encounter with bed bugs once. Because uh, my family, we like to travel around a lot. And um, we've stayed in a bunch of Hampton Inns. Which is a kind of hotel. I don't know if they've got them in like South America or other countries. So for anyone who doesn't know. It's a big chain of hotels in the United States. They might be in other countries too. I don't know. I've never been to another country. So I can't confirm if they're out there or not. But we got a bunch of Hampton Inns all over the country. And yeah, that's where we stay. Well, one time we went to Oklahoma. And stayed in a Hampton Inn there. And... You know, we get our stuff into the rooms, we put our pajamas on, get ready for bed. And when I went to lie down in my bed, I saw there was a bug on the pillow. And I didn't think much much of it. I thought it was a beetle or something. So I just like nudged it off the pillow and laid my head down, whatever. But then, our sisters started talking about, like, the bugs being, like, there's one on the wall, there's they're on the floor. There's another one in the bed. What is it? We don't know. Hey, let's go get mom and dad. So we went and got mom and dad and they come in. You know, we tell them like, yeah, there's a bunch of bugs in our room. They come over to check it out. And mom was like Googling. And yeah, bed bugs. That's what it was. I remember we got all of us out of that room as quickly as we could. Cause we, had, we had two different hotel rooms because the family is so big. So everyone went into the one hotel room while dad like notified the hotel staff. And I remember there was one bed bug that was trying to cling to a pair of pants. Like one of my pairs of pants. Not ones I was wearing, but it was a pair of jeans that I had folded up and sat on a bench to wear the next day. And yeah, it was sitting there clinging real hard. Like my mom thought it was dead at first. No, it was just clinging real hard trying to come with us. It was horrible and like thankfully thankfully we didn't actually bring any home we had everything washed and treated and we got a new room to stay in while they treated the hotel room i don't think they realized there were bed bugs in there because they were very apologetic and offered to treat everything for free and hamptonmans they're usually really good about bugs we, we usually don't see bugs in hamptonmans they're very clean they're very good they provide good service so this was like a one-off well, there was this time we got a we got a room in a Hilton Gardens, which is the same um like the Hampton Inns and Hilton Gardens are owned by the same people, 
We got a room in the Hilton Garden once, and there were a bunch of crickets all over the place. I prefer that, because crickets aren't like parasites or anything. Crickets won't bite you and feed off your blood, and they're not hard to get rid of. But man, there were a lot of crickets in that room. I never thought I would run into a room infested with crickets. But they were on the walls, on the ceiling, on the floor, on the bed. Mostly on the walls. On the curtains. Are remoras parasites? I don't know what that is. I've never heard of a remora. I don't know what bed bugs are. Bed bugs are a parasitic insect that they sleep in soft things like mattresses, sheets. They're nocturnal, so they come out at night. So they'll come, they'll climb out of your sheets and stuff and bite your butt while you're asleep. They're really, really, really hard to get rid of. So if you ever think you've got a bed bug, you need to get on that stand. They're the pest of pests, fleas or plebs compared to bed bugs. Exactly, yeah, bed bugs are a nightmare. They're like dark brown, kind of flat. You can look up images if you want to see it, what they look like. But yeah, yeah. So now every single time we stay anywhere outside the house, we do a bed bug check of the beds ever since that incident. Pull up the sheets, look under the sheets, check the mattress, look under the mattress, you check it all. Because, yeah, if, if there's bed bugs, you'll either see bugs or you'll see eggs. The eggs are dark, so they're pretty easy to see, thankfully. But you always want to check. Always check when you go to stay in a hotel. Always, always, always check for bed bugs. Consider this your life tip of the day. I always thought it was something silly because of that name. No, no. Well, they're called bed bugs because they like are usually found in beds and stuff. It's like a perfect place for them to live. Soft with easy access to humans who come and sleep at night. But they're they're like a nightmare. They are, they are no laughing matter. Hmm. Do you have any leftover debris from your work on it? Uh, why yes. It was my first time encountering this ore, after all, so I kept a few loose shavings to study myself later. They're right over there, in fact. Few loose shavings. Points at huge rock chunks. Uh-huh. This adds up. Thank you, sir. We'll take a look at them. But I'm eating potato chips. I don't want to touch my computer while I'm eating potato chips. Huh? If my eyes don't deceive me, the cross sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaractus nephrite shavings. Yes, it's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. It's used to make jewelry all the time. I've heard it said that Smaragdus Nephrite is in fact the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. So that means he never even had Jadeite in the first place, right? Or maybe this guy is just real good with his scam and planted this Nephrite to throw us off. I don't know if we have those here. Hopefully not, but bed bugs are the kind of thing that can be transferred to all different kinds of places. You always want to be careful. You can never be too careful when it comes to bed bugs. Uh, as I said earlier, you must go on a war path to get rid of them. You have to kill them at all different stages of their life, from egg to adult. Yup, 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 because if you let the eggs live, they'll just hatch and make more adults, and then more make more eggs. You got the problem all over again. But that, that goes for any parasitic bug that's infesting your house, or your body, so... A thin layer of separation, huh? You know another bug that I'm really scared of getting? Tapeworms. I will not eat any raw meat and I will not eat any meat at all if it's not well done because I'm just scared of getting tapeworms. Like I know people hate all the time on people who order steak well done. Well I don't really like steak so I, I don't really get steak anyway. But if I did have a steak I would want it well done. And then just cause I don't want to eat anything that might have a risk of worms in it you know. Tapeworms they live in your intestines and they grow. They get really, really big. Like, scarily big. Like the size of adult snakes. That's how big they can get. Or at least a similar size. They're not, they're not by that much smaller. And maybe that's like a worst case scenario when it comes to tapeworms. 
I saw it in an episode of House like a long time ago and I never forgot. So if I eat meat, anything, it's not ever gonna be medium rare. Or rare at all. Well done, it's the only thing I'll take. If it's too pink, I won't eat it. Same. See, someone else understands. People, people crap on us all the time for like not wanting to eat stuff medium rare. But I just don't want to risk it, you know? All you gotta do is get that one piece of meat that has tapeworm eggs in it and you're doomed. At the moment where I tried to eat a hamburger, I swallowed and looked at it and the meat now cooked all the way. Yeah, I know, right? If you must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus nephrite is an entirely ordinary ore containing no elemental energy whatsoever. Those I know, but biggest snakes. I don't know. The one that was in house looked pretty big, but it was a long time. Maybe, maybe I'm accidentally exaggerating a bit. But still, either way, they live in your intestines and they can get pretty big. And even if they couldn't get pretty big, they live in your intestines. It's gross. I wouldn't want that. Is that so? Well, we might as well give Elemental Scythe a shot. But I don't want to. I'm eating chips. I brought my fit. So, did you find anything? So they really are different. But wait, how come Jichao was able to tell what it was just by looking at the shards? That's pretty awesome. There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. Why couldn't Shito tell them apart? Ooh, that's a good boy. These two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to tell them apart. There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of the market price. And, I'm sure, a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into shape. Alright, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. But, never mind, Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossell... <sighs> Crap, you're farther than me in the story. Gotta catch up. I mean, this, this isn't really the main story. This is just that teapot house event that I never did. Unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. They get a few meters long, if I remember. How long is a meter? I don't think we use meters as forms of measurement in the stage, do we? I think it's usually like feet, inches, feet, yards, miles. How long is a meter? Well, then again, I've never really been good with numbers. And like, sometimes... Forms of measurement kind of throw me off too. I'm a little embarrassed to admit it. It's not my strong suit. I'm a lot better with things like English and psychology. I love psychology. Numbers and measurement are not my forte though. Neither is geography or history. I'm starting to realize maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just dumb. A meter is a little less than half an adult man height. And they can get up to a few meters? A meter is about three feet. They can get up to about like Lady Dimitrescu size then? See, see, snake. That's why I said they're as big as adult snakes. They can grow up to be as tall as Lady Dimitrescu. A few meters would be nine feet. Miss so far, there's not a vote to my bag. Might I be so bold as to inquire? Um, Thank God. I'd probably barf if I found a vote to my bag. If you could just confirm for me once more, sir, Mr. Crossell did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was, in fact, Smaragdus Jadeite, did he not? Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here. It says quite clearly, one chunk smaragdus jadeite, uncut. Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record and these stone shavings? Of course. But might I ask why you need them? Want to see the scary Google research I did? Adult tapeworms can measure more than 80 feet. 
25 meters long and can survive as long as 30 years in a house. And people hate on people for not wanting to eat uncooked meat. We could all have tapeworms. I hope not. I mean, we already got that bug that lives in your skin. Those really, 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 really tiny mites that practically every human has. I don't want to think about it. Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please sign here on this affidavit. This document shall serve as signed proof that these stone shavings originated from the, uh, ore that Mr. Crossell brought to your store. Please read it carefully. Hmm, yes, I see, I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, Miss Yenfei, but might I know the nature of the incident on this occasion? I wouldn't say there's been an incident, just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. I'll take these with me. With this hard evidence to back us up, Crusoe won't dare try to deny what he did. On the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more compelling. Like what? If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewel smith. Let me think. I just want to eat my chips. Stop making me reach my hand out of the bag to clip. Mm, nope. Aha! Got it. Sinksy. She often helps people to find a jewel smith. Let's go pay her a visit. Well, that was quick. How can you know so many people? Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. As you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts. And contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important to us. But the amendments made by the Tianxuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and impossible to finish. As such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service indeed. So you help them make sense of the law. But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? Yes, well, that's no obstacle because I've memorized all the legal codices. You memorized them? Uh, the fact that people don't talk about tapeworms more often is kind of terrifying. Although, if we had tapeworms, don't you think we would know? Wouldn't we start having, like, health problems if we had tapeworms and they started to get too big? Stop listening to my crunches. Perfect. You sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Is this how adepti become so adept at everything? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptist. I just like reading things. Again, with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look for Singsi. Okay. Out to Singsi. What should I try this time? Well, I guess the new teacher is you cooked me. That's what you want to do. I mean, meat doesn't have to be cooked through all the way to get rid of eggs or anything and parasites. But I feel like you'd be taking a risk if you didn't cook it all the way. I think we'd feel something if we have tape worms well, but still scary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Miss Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? Did the client from last time? Uh... She looks exactly like this other lady. Have no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? Crossel? Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Yeah, he came to me with a chunk of something he called 
Smaragdus Jadeite. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. It's a bong. It's not a bong. It's just a vase. This order was on hold for a very long time and only completed quite recently. You're a bong. Which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewel smith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Interesting. They're like a detective case. Mr. Crosel wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself, the item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. The inlaid gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the ministry on it. Okay, I'm almost done with my chips. They're almost gone. Thank you, Singsy. Now, could you let me borrow this document? I mean, it's one of those smaller bags, and I ate half of it yesterday, so. Sure, it isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take it then that there's been some more trouble? Nothing you need to worry about, just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? Must be the leader, leader of legal consultancy. I mean, yeah, to be fair, the only way you'd really be going looking into things is if something somewhere down the line in some way has gone wrong. Otherwise, if everything was all fine and dandy, you wouldn't have any need to look into it. Hmm, I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. The weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? Oh, when are they going to release him as a character? I had to meet him for a different event a while ago. I can't remember if I was streaming it or not. But I thought he was really, really cool. Like, all the characters that I really want to be released are just not released. Why is that? Okay, I think I'm done with my chips for now. I just wanted to go wash my hands. Yeah, because the chips are really greasy and I don't want to touch my computer or anything while my hands are greasy. So, I'm gonna go. Sorry, I'm, I'm muting my mic too early. I'm gonna go one more time to wash my hands and then I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I'm back. 
who's making keyboard dirty. I'm not touching the keyboard. I was eating the chips with the hand I was using with my mouse. And I was trying hard not to let my two fingers that touch the chips touch the mouse. So I can feel my mouse isn't really dirty at all. Because only he can provide an authoritative oh my bag of candy though that jadeite is harmful to the candy candy welcome back thank you thank you and thank you guys for being here once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands we can wrap this case up okay candy now this bag was sealed, so I trust that there's no roaches in this bag. Okay, talk to Baiju. What were you guys up to while I was gone? Catching up in Genshin. Are oh, you playing Genshin too? Nice, nice. Okay, here he is. Baiju. I like this guy. My, he should be really a playable character. To what do I owe the pleasure? Though I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi Chi, she's out gathering herbs. And if it isn't Miss Yenfei as well. Now that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get worse. Huh. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit chat. Knowing you, Yenfei, and given the specific nature of your question, I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Smaragdus Jadeite? That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jadeite recently. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. She isn't he great? Why can't you play it as him yet? I wonder if he has a vision. Let's just look at him and see if he's got one. But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. I wonder, Miss Yenfei, if your pressing business might be related to the Snezhnayan Wait, the merchant? candy I'm eating? If you, do you guys know what nerds are? The candy nerds? The candy I've got is gummies covered in nerds. So it's nerds, but they got gummies in the middle. I didn't think this candy even existed, but then I, I saw it at my job. Well, actually, a customer gave it to me, and he was like, I don't want this, because I wanted to get two, but you guys only have one. I was like, oh, okay. And I looked at it, and I'm like, dang, bro. I'm gonna get that. So I bought it. I've still got a lot of it left. It's not even a big bag either. Although I don't tend to eat a ton of candy if I got candy. I'm very quick to just be tired of sugar. My favorite foods are like the savory things. Ah, uh, you needn't concern yourself See, you about like that, candy. Dr. Yeah. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. You're too kind. Take care now. That Baiju guy is as weird as ever. Wait, I wanted does to see if he has a vision. Paimon, or does it feel like he was fishing for something back there? Dr. Baiju's always been He like does that. have one. Well, we have the evidence we need. Let's go find Mr. Crossel. Screen. Please, show me Is this a Dendro character? In adventuring, as in business, 
You I think this he might be a dendro character. I don't know what other vision that would be. Okay. I want to teleport to this teleport spot because it's closer. Yeah, yeah, dendro. They haven't yet released a dendro character that we can play as. I can't believe I never noticed before. I mean, I I've seen him before. Also, I just noticed it has like a little notification up here on this book thing. Commissions. The commission quest region has been changed to monster. These changes. Oh! Huh, I didn't realize you could do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, dude, you got some explaining to do. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Of course. Ahem, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract... The amount is zero. Mr. Crossell, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sure. Wait, what? M me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Ooh, we got him! Got him! Material evidence? What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this! I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. I wonder if this guy back here is just like, damn, what is going on over there? Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, Please produce the evidence in question. This is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? I like this rock over here because like I know it has like dirt on it, but it, because of the shades of like the dirt and the stone, it looks like little earths. Doesn't it? It totally does. Th that's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence, aren't we? Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him at all. Seems like he came prepared. What should we do next? Hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Show him, Traveler. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. Our second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting more belligerent by the second. Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal after all. Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler, would you do the honors? What? What's this? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. I think it's funny all the real close-up shots, like, oh, it's like... Zooming in like, what's this? <laughs> Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Mr. Crossell, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? I... 
I had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item, I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Don't worry, Mr. Crossell. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait! Wait! I... <sighs> I knew. He knew he admits it. Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossell. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you? Huh? No, I. <sighs> the hairpins aren't actually. Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that what you were about to say? You do understand, Mr. Crossell, that this means that you will have to pay Ms. Sir Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Mr. Crossell, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I... 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 Yampi's seriously intimidating right now. It's like she's a different person. Not really. She's just really focused. I wouldn't say she's a... She looks like a different person. She's not that different. I admit it. I confess, the ore I had inlaid on those hairpins was... was Smaragdus Nephrite. But I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Smaragdus Jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I daren't touch it again. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, Ji Chao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. Why did you charge Ji Chao such an extortionate rental price? Yeah! Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much? Hmm? I, I didn't want to either, but when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days in this line of business would be over. Maybe you should have thought about that before making such rash decisions. All right, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora, and that is final. Ten, ten times? Crossel looks like he could faint any second. As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. 20%? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite. Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. Uh, Ms. Jichou, you... I mean, I feel kind of bad for him, but like... I don't know if I would be nice to him like this lady's doing. He's a scammer. He tried to scam people because he didn't re research. He didn't like look into the product before he bought it. If he had just done that, if he had asked around, he could have figured that out. He could have learned that about the Jedi before he ever purchased it, and this whole situation could have been avoided. So this all falls on him. I mean, he tried to totally just take advantage of her. I wouldn't give him any money. I wouldn't cut my losses. I'd be taking my money and spending it on things I need. However, Mr. Crossell, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. What? But I... All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. Miss Yunfei, I'll turn this Maragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? 
Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. But whatever, it'll do. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yunfei. When you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come to an understanding? Well, yeah, that was a genius move. You're right. Hmm? Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is... Is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second if I... I could see from the hair Oops, I cut you, you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. I, uh, let me think for a moment. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants, too. All's well that ends well, eh? Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. But this time, you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. I mean, we still had to go all over the place for this quest. It's not really any different. <laughs> Even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. An adeptus. Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Yeah. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. In any case, don't you think that the Liuai Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs adeptal powers? I mean, I can, I, I guess, but like, adeptal power sounds way cooler. Paimon can think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. Okay, now we get to go talk to Madam P. I don't feel like walking up there, so we're gonna teleport up here and then glide there. This is like my favorite teleport spot for going anywhere in Leoe. But it's just so easy to get literally anywhere in town. Yeah, here we go. Ah, you've returned. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. I'm off, then. Bye. Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts too. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot. Hmm? <laughs> In other words, go away. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. Ah, indeed she is. Liu has changed, and the Adepti must also learn to change. Yan Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Ah... Liyue is not the same place I once knew. 
I mean, if she's an adept, she's probably like really, 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 really old. So, of course, it's not gonna be the same place. You, there's been like a crap ton of time for things to change. All right, then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? <laughs> How long does it take? Yeah. <laughs> It is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Madam Ping begins to construct the gift. <laughs> there we go. This serenity pot is all yours now. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh goodness, who knows what might happen. Are you sure we wanted to hold it though? It's made out of the Jedi. <laughs> Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. Okay, Serenity, uh, Serenity Pot Unlock. Ah, I didn't get to read the rest of it! Okay. Click to place Serenity Pot. I mean, in the middle. I guess I could just put this literally anywhere I want. Please select a realm layout. Floating abode, emerald peak, or cool isle. I mean, they're all locked. I guess it'll unlock one when I choose one. Which one should I choose? Ah. Oh. I guess. I'm not really interested in floating a boat right now. Wait, can this, is this like changeable? Can I change this later? I guess let's go with Cool Isle. It doesn't even really look like a cool aisle. This looks like the cliffs around Mondstadt. Huh. But there's just a whole load of nothing oh. around it. Now get it chosen, Paimon. You could carve us a whole house out of this rock. <laughs> Go dig a burrow to live in for now, I guess. Yeah! Hey! There's a perfectly good house right over there! Why should Paimon have to live in a hole in the ground? Because <laughs> the house is mine, silly! Like, what if I ran off this way? Oh, uh, it's, it's just like the event area. I'm guessing there's probably nothing really special around here though. Yeah, Papa needs to go live in a hole on the ground like a mole. Well, I think she could pass as a mole. It seems that we have a visitor. It's a huge finch! Oh, I thought it was an owl. Never mind. Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me... Um, hang on a moment. What am I supposed to be called again? Oh, call me. I suppose you may call me... Tubby. <laughs> Tubby. <laughs> I thought it was a penguin from far. I think that's what Pengu would say she looks like. That's for sure. 
He certainly looked the part. Why is that the only thing I can say? It's so rude. So you're the little helper, Madam Ping mentioned? Oh my god, you're so rude! Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. It sounds like Chi Chi. She kind of does sound like Chi Chi now that I think about it. Yeah. Your journey may be far from over. But at least this way, you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. That is true. That is true. Can I go in the house? Is it possible for me to explore inside the house? What is a tea's pot experience though it exactly? is the adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, Blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Let's take them out and have a look. Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on, open them up. I still wonder though, like, am I able to change the layout if I want to later, or is this what I'm stuck with? I mean, I'm happy with this decision. So, like, if I'm not able to change it, I think I'll be fine. But I am just curious about that. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. Wow! Is that all it takes? Then... We could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders, who could that be? Maybe Zhao. Doesn't Zhao have golden eyes? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that adeptus again since. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. I want to know if I could... Ah! <laughs> Look for Tubby in the Serena Teapot. After using and summoning the Serena Teapot, travelers can interact with it and enter the abode within. Travelers can also use and summon the pot when they are within its confines. Interacting with the Serena Teapot in the state will allow travelers to leave it. Travelers can also directly open the map interface and fast travel to any of the teleport waypoints to immediately leave the Serena Teapot. Okay. Talk to the Teapot Spirit inside the Serena Teapot. Serenity teapot to learn about and manage all manner of teapot related affairs You can create all kinds of items from the creation screen Materials used to create items can be gathered all over the world and after obtaining a furnishing use the place function to put it in position Okay Place furnishings to increase the adeptal energy rank of your serenity teapot as your adeptal energy rank increases realm currency will accumulate at a faster rate Spend realm currency in the realm depot to purchase various items. Once in a while, a teapot traveling salesman. Oh, it's like a traveling spirit in the sky. We'll visit your abode. There is a chance that he will bring some rare treasures with him. If you acquire the blueprint for a furnishing set, you can place furnishings by batch. You can still make adjustments to individual furnishings when batch placing them. Okay. No, I just want to explore. Just let me explore. F7. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Travelers, please ensure that you follow our terms of service while using the Serenity Pot to create a healthy gaming environment. Please read and confirm that you will not instigate or take part in 
The creation of content that discriminates against any race, gender, religion, sexual orientation, ethnicity, government, or region. The bullying or insulting of any travelers or group of travelers. Any other content or behavior that violates the terms of service. We may have to restrict your use of the game service. Okay, now you're good. I'm not going to do any of that. Ah, uh, choo-choo! Choo-choo! Whee! I'm like a mini island. How do I turn the screen? Oh, here we go. So this is like my own house now! Cool! What's that? Oh. When it was like this, it kind of looked like, like a chair and an umbrella. But then you go over here, it's like just a rock and some trees. Boo! Okay, where's the be? Okay, this is the entrance. So, so buildings. Okay, what what is this right here? It's like a blacksmithing place. I guess maybe we could put this on the back of the house. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? Do you think that looks nice? Yeah. Okay, in the main building, there's not anything we can do there. Animals! I want animals! Oh. Look how cool this is! You can make a house, the Sims anime version? Apparently! And yeah, look how good this looks. Dude, you can- we get our own forge! That's cool! Manura's Mansion, I wonder if it have a basement. Uh, actually, let's go find out! Maybe it does. It's a service area. My country have these a lot. They can use for craftsmen, barbecue, and laundry. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it would give me a basement, but. <gasps> oh. This is so cool. Our own house. There's another room. Ow. House doesn't like me. I like this room. I like this room because it has like a little hallway leading into it. Ah, it doesn't look like there's a basement, so your dreams have been crushed, Henry. There's an upstairs, though. So... Oh, this room is pretty good. It's really dark, though. Kind of makes it feel like a room where something could be lying and waiting in here. Is so the only upstairs room? Oh, no, it's not. There's another one over here. Okay. I kind of wish there was like a loft area, though. That would have been cool. So it's up. It's just upstairs hallways. I'm still happy about it, though. Hope I have an attic, at least. I don't think so. Doors, stairs... I don't have anything to put out. Can we got our own house though? Can you add characters to live there? I don't know about characters, but I think we can get like uh, animals. Let's see what Tubby says. Ah, you arrived quickly. Good, good. Uh, what's up? I asked you to come here so I could give you a little gift. I do not know if I told you before, but these abodes are private spaces created by the Adepti for themselves. Most Adepti will use certain methods to seal their abode away from the rest of the world to ensure its purity and avoid being disturbed. 
Afterwards, the Adepti would create a Realm Dispatch for those they wish to invite into their abode. This Realm Dispatch bears signatures of the abode's Adeptal Energy and that of the Adeptus themselves. As such, anyone who has this dispatch can enter or exit the abode freely. Before, this abode was an incomplete embryonic shape. Those whom you invited into it would only be able to exit and enter together with you rather than remain for long periods. But now, well, take this realm dispatch that I have created for you and hold it in your hand, can't they now? Okay, what do I do next? Animal kitties hype! Ah, I didn't think about that! Maybe we could get our own cat! Don't worry, you only need to hold this dispatch and it will draw some of your energy out and into it. Ah yes, I heard Ping mention that you have made friends in a great many places. As such, I suspect that we are, that were we to distribute one dispatch to each one of them, we would be here making dispatches for a long time. As such, I have made some modifications to this dispatch. All you need to do is tap the palm of the person you'd like to invite lightly with the dispatch, and your energy signature will remain on them, allowing them to enter and leave your dispatch with ease. It's almost like marking, isn't it? It's like stamping them in the palm of their hand. Stamp. Huh? Well, sort of. But why did you have to put it so weirdly? <laughs> I mean, true, yeah, that sounded really weird. You are mine, Stamp. Ahem. Well, here is the Realm Dispatch. Go forth and invite whoever you wish. It seems that this place shall become lively quite soon. Yay! I'm excited to put stuff in here. But can I buy stuff? When does Emergent show up? Let me see. What does this do? Check the placement screen and save your furnishings placement. Oh, oh, okay. So this is giving us stuff. Enter a mansion. Okay. So if we do these objectives, it gives us stuff we can put in the Serena teapot. Obtain 30 pieces of wood through cutting down trees. Does that mean like in here or just like in the world? Obtain three types of wood through cutting down trees. Apparently I've cut down trees before. 11 out of 30, two out of three. Process one, die. Okay, I've never done this. Make one piece of fabric. Learn three furnishing blueprints. Construct three furnishings. Obtain 100 realm currency. Reach trust rank two. Reach a Deptal Energy Rank Humble Abode. Okay, I don't know how to do half this stuff. I guess we can put this new tree out. Where should I put this tree? I don't know if I want to put it in the shade though. I feel bad for it. Wait, is there another door right there? Oh, it's a window. Okay, it's a window. I thought it was a door. It really looked like a door. I guess there is fine. Doesn't that look nice? Well, maybe we could kind of rotate it a bit. I was hoping it'd be like the same on the other side. So I could put one like right there. Well, that looks kind of weird that this is like so close to the house. That looks a little better, doesn't it? The tree make more shade. True, true. Okay, I got one more tree. Maybe we should put this one away from the house. There you go. Oh, companion! 
Wait, so you, you can put them out in the house then. Ooh, who should we put out in the house? I don't even know who I want to put out in the house. If I put them out in the house, am I still able to swap to them? Just put Zing Cho out in the house. Why am I not allowed to put Zing Cho on actually like on the porch? <laughs> Zing Cho, why can't I put you on the porch? Why do you have to be out in the grass? <laughs> and like, if I put him out, like, are they just gonna stand there? Or like, will he actually like walk around and stuff? Maybe this is like just setting a spawn point? Put all the lollies, your crew. Okay, let's put maximum number of companions invited. Okay, apparently I can only have one out right now. Uh, I should have put Beach Jean. Jean in her swimsuit. Hi, Zing Cho. Right on cue. I was just wondering whether you might appear. You sound kind of creepy. Like you're not the real Zing Cho. How do you like it here? Even if it were to exist solely upon the page, this teapot realm would not fail to inspire. And yet here I am. Perceiving it with my own senses. Naturally, I couldn't be happier. Awesome! <laughs> Even though you're in like an empty void of a realm with only a few trees and an empty house. If I leave, you've got no one here to keep you company except Tubby. Not to mention... Well, I can read at my leisure here. For hours on end, without any fear of interruption. Ah... <sighs> The perfect getaway. Does it mean like every character has like specific lines just for being in the teapot? That's a lot of voice acting. Don't you need to keep up your martial arts practice? Shh, not so loud. Not so loud? Who is gonna hear you? Except Tubby. I don't think Tubby cares though. There's literally no one else around. I wouldn't dream of neglecting any of that. But please, don't let anyone else hear you talking about it. There's nobody here besides Tubby. My father and brother are always ready to give me another earful. But your father and brother aren't here. It'd be weird if they were. Is he gonna like walk around or they just sit there? I'm totally gonna put bathing suit Jean out though. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess I got the energy rank. Humble abode. Okay, so then, like, if I wanted to cut down a tree. I don't want to cut down a tree next to my house. I'll go to this one. Is this doing anything? I don't think this is doing anything. Maybe we need to cut down these trees. Trees not even in the teapot, like just out in the world. Yep, okay, okay, so that explains that. Well, at least I know that my house can't be, like, the plants can't be knocked down, I guess. Cut down. I wish you would actually, like, walk around, though. <laughs> Snacks. Like, it would be nice to just walk around rather than just sit there and do nothing all day. Instead, you could actually do a something. I'm starting to think though, like, my one little issue with this mansion, there's not really any like open living space. Any living space is in a closed off room. 
Okay, so like, like for example, if I want to put out table and chairs, maybe I could put it here without it being in the way of anything. But if I try to put it anywhere else, like here's where I was going to put it until I realized oh, there's a door here. Like if I put it over here in the corner, yeah, it might not be that big a deal, but it'd be a little weird having a door right here. I don't know. It sounds weird to me. It feels weird to me. So like I could put it here, I guess. There's not like a loft upstairs or anything, no. It's like it's all closed off rooms. This is cute though. Um, maybe this would look better if I had a small table. I guess it'll do for now, though. Why can I only invite one companion? I don't like that. Why can, why can I only invite one companion? Can I jump on my table? Up. Come on! I just want to stand on my table. I just want to stand on my table. I finally have the authority to stand on the table, and it won't let me do it. Okay, there we go. That took a lot longer than it needed to. Yeah, I want to get all kinds of stuff to put in here. This is really cool. I guess if I wanted to, like, get some rare stuff from a merchant, though, I'd have to check back every day, huh? I like that the characters in here, like, actually have their, uh, like, personality, too. It's not, like, just default generic, vo like, voice lines or dialogue lines. It's things the characters would actually say and think. Make a total of 50 wishes. Oh, I got that done. <laughs> procrastinating let's go i'm not procrastinating i'm exploring my new house how dare you be so rude cake for traveler why is this new oh all this stuff is new why does this have an exclamation point on it i got this floral arrangement why do you have a blueprint oh these are blueprints That's why. That, that's why I couldn't. Okay. Th that's why it wouldn't let me uh, put those out. I hadn't learned them yet. There. Okay. So I got the blueprints. How do I make them? Yo, hi monster. How you doing today? I just finished the teapot quest to get my own little teapot and house and now I'm trying to figure it all out. Like, how do I look, how do I actually like make stuff with the blueprints? Do I talk to Tubby? Maybe you're not used to the place at the moment, but once you've materialized enough rooms and furniture through subspace creation, it will feel just like home. Okay, uh, trust fight. Okay. I guess we've done this then? Break bonus? Okay, here we go. I'll give a premium dose for that. Yeah, thank you. Multi-arch monster building. 
A detailed step-by-step -step blueprint for making multi-arch monster building. After using this item, you can view it in the creation screen. Huh. Where's my creation screen? Oh, here you go. Create furnishing. Yeah, I talked to Tubby. Okay. So, looks like we're gonna need more wood. I wanna make this. So, I need pine wood. Cover dragon spine. Ugh, oh, fine. Okay, and then red dye. Red dye, it will surely be of use in making furnishings. How do I make dye, though? There's blue dye. Fabric. Okay, so you can switch the realm style. If you ever have Wait, there was a realm depot. What was that? Maybe you Oh, okay, okay. So you can exchange this bit of stuff at trust rank too. I guess this stuff we can exchange for right now if we have the money for it. Which we currently don't. We can buy some of these though. Okay, so I have 50. Do we want to buy some of these? We can have like our own little garden. I'll take two of those and two of these. If you ever have any qu No, shut up. I'm probably gonna hop on COD and blast Hollow Live English music. Oh, yeah. That's cultured. Hollow Live English has some, some really good songs. And, like, it's not really Hollow Live English, but did you guys hear Pavolia Reine's cover with Nene? Nenechi? It was really, really good. I can't remember what the name of it was, but I heard it and I just, I really liked it. What was it? By cat. It wasn't called by cat. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what it was. Okay, so I got these seeds now. How do I use the seeds? Eh. One does not simply die. <laughs> Gives people die when they are killed a whole new meaning. Maybe you are not. Yeah, creatures of the realm. There aren't actually any creatures here. Though. Oh, items refreshed in three days. Oh, okay. So this stuff's only here for a few days. What is a Naku weed seed? A seed obtained from the seed dispensary. A quality seed full of life just waiting to be planted in the realms. That doesn't really tell me anything about the Naku weed, but. I guess I'll take some. Oh, you need to have one of these to plant the seeds. You need 300. Dude, I have like no money. I guess let's go out and cut some trees then. That's how we can get started. Okay, so where can we go find some trees? The floor here seems to no longer be made out of floor. False flat on face. <laughs> Just tripping. <laughs> right on the ground. Have any of you guys ever had a face full of floor? Okay, well that cut that down. What do we- Uh, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Speed of light. I wonder if we can cut down one of these bigger trees over here. 
See, like, I've never really gone around, like, intentionally trying to cut down trees before. So, like, I haven't actually ever experimented with this stuff. Oh my god, you can! Can you, like, completely cut the tree down, though? Doesn't seem like it, but I did get wood from that tree. Lynn's trouble is talk to Lynn. I don't want to talk to Lynn. I don't even know where Lynn is. There's a hilly trail over there. I'm not interested in hilly trail affairs, though. Hilly trail affairs do not concern one such as me. As a mighty dragon, I have my own problems. the stream so far though i mean aside from that really long conversation we had about bugs and parasites it's been like a really nice chill stream just playing around in genshin and just vibing we don't often have a stream like this like we usually play stuff where it's like you gotta think real hard or there's like a lot going on and it's adventurous and there's explosions and there's enemies in your face i mean there's certainly gonna be enemies in your face sometimes when you're playing genshin obviously there's enemies all over the place but like this right now, just cutting down trees, listening to the music, and just looking at like all the nice grass. It's just very chill and I like it. I definitely want to go over to Dragon Spine too, to try to get some wood from those trees. Oh, 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 speaking of, when I was playing some of the uh, story earlier off screen, I also found another one of those, uh, what are they called? Geoculus. Yeah, I found a Geoculus that I never grabbed. A new one. I'm surprised I never found it. Okay, so we're gonna hop over to Dragon Spine now. Man, I remember when Dragon Spine was new. There's also a Cryo Hypostasis over here. I've never fought that. Do you think we should go fight it? It was added in at some point. Remember? You guys remember this area, right? I think this is where the the event used to be with like the giant Regis fine. They added a Cryo Hypostasis. Oh god, that, that meter is filling up fast. Ah, what is that? I don't like you. Shh. Shit. To hide. Oh, Kachik's only level 50. Dang, dude. Dang, bro. Here, I should probably use clean. What are your attacks? I wonder, do you think standing on the ice over there makes the bar go up quicker? Like, I can't tell if it makes the bar go up quicker or not. Okay, at this rate, at this rate, it's gonna take a really long time. Uh, Maybe it's Chi Chi for some healing. Wow. Okay, I know I'm doing terribly at this. I've never fought this thing though, I gotta get like used to it. And the fact that the bar fills up so quickly, that does not help me at all. I didn't even get to use you to restore an HP. Go. Wait, is Klee dead? I thought I swapped my character in time for her to not die. Apparently not.
Why don't you spare the crap out of Clee? I was trying to heal Clee, that's why. That is a lot faster though. I'm level 72. I need to make my character stronger. I think Klee might be... I can't remember if Klee's at the point of being ascended or if I could just level her up or what. Actually, I'm really curious about that. Oh yeah, I got more achievements. Okay, character. Level up. These bombs, so heavy. There, level 78. Small boost in stats. And then, I wanna ascend Venti again. Oh, I need to go craft these. Oh, I need to go fight the hypostasis again because I don't have enough hurricane seeds. These, I know exactly where to pick these, so this is easy, and I have enough of the slime secretions. Hi, Circulos! How you doing? Yeah, Why not spare Klee? Because Klee is dead! <laughs> I was saying, because Klee is tired and doesn't want to fight. You're doing! Well, that's good! No! Oh, I can't heal her yet. Okay, uh, uh, uh. I didn't think this thing was gonna be this strong. Brace yourself. I bet she doesn't really do much of anything. What I wanna do, what I wanna do is launch Venti's attack wow. on the thing when it stops and then use Klee to give it like a bunch of fire Sacred damage. Name. Although I feel Watch like there's so much trial around here, it might not even, it Life might not even on. help anything. Okay, can I, can I restore Klee? No, I got another 27 seconds. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay. I don't care if it's extremely cold, I'm gonna fight. We are no fighting way. dreamers. Ha, ha. Ah, no. One step back, two forward. <sighs> oh, uh, faster. Okay, faster. My fun chicky, go fat. Yeah, faster! I just want to get some healing! Look, a berry. Oh, it's a pine cone, not a berry. Never mind. Why does it keep reminding me that the area around the cryo hypostasis is extremely cold? Why does it keep saying that? Like you told me five to seven times now? Nice. Cause the area on the crowd yeah. this thing is cold, but it told me already! Does it think my memory is so bad that it needs to tell me like seven plus times? That's an insult. Whoa, what the, ah, no! Faster? Okay, Man, faster. and I thought the crowd Regis one was hard. I mean, not anymore, but like when I first ran into it, I thought it was tough. Then they got this thing over here. Oh, okay, there we go. Healing, healing, healing. Okay, so yeah, what I want to do, Venti's got his real strong attack charged up. I really wanna, I wanna use that on him and then get like Klee's pyro damage in there. So let's see, what's, what, what's he gonna do next? Did you like forget I was here or something? Think you can get away? Fine, fine, no. Okay, no, I picked up cry out. That's what I 
I thought it was gonna do, but I wanted to give it a try. Ah! Oh. No, don't kill Klee again! Oh, and the cryo effect making me go slow doesn't help either. Now you know and you won't forget. <laughs> no, it's because it's told me 10,000 times. I just got in the mood for like French bread with butter on it. With Doesn't that sound down. good? Like a baguette with butter on it. Fog character, I want Chiki out. Faster? Okay, faster. <sighs> and garlic. Garlic bread! Yeah! I wanted to make garlic bread the other day. So I pulled out the garlic salt, and I pulled out the butter, and only for me to find out we had no bread. Oh, I was sad. Faster? Okay, faster. Yeah, I know, right? I got all heads up. I was like, we have garlic? Oh yeah, we have garlic. Do we have butter? Oh yeah, we have butter. The one thing else we needed was bread, and we didn't have any. Life goes on. I didn't feel that. Well, uh, it sucks because like I really, really, okay, really faster. love garlic bread. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't love garlic bread? Besides vampires. Do you think if you were in the world of Twilight, if you gave Edward some garlic bread, he would hate it? You think you just pick it up and throw it back in your face like how freaking dare you? Okay. I bet I bet in ancient times when Dracula was around, Italian restaurants never had to worry about vampire attacks because they have garlic bread. Vampires would be too scared to attack the, the restaurants. Get less shiny, sparkly. I mean, maybe that's why he's so sparkly because he stays away from garlic bread. Maybe he makes them less sparkly in that world. Could you imagine if if you go you go out to the sunlight and you're always sparkly, but the one day you eat garlic bread, God went into the sunlight and it's like a new revelation. You're not sparkly anymore. Yeah, the big the greatest defense against vampires, Olive Garden, Italian restaurants. Hey, apparently the thing cannot be damaged while it's doing that attack. Huh. Oh, and the hypostasis should have some strong attack that it does at the end that you'll need to prevent. Because all hypostasis have an attack like that. Uh, why do I gotta do that attack? I pull out my little healing buddy, and then you do an attack where I can't get any help. Then it uses up the duration of my healing buddy. You come over here, I'll freeze you to death. Faster? Okay. But I bet if we ever had a vampire apocalypse, you wouldn't have to worry about it. If you worked at Olive Garden. Olive Gardens would be the stronghold against the vampire assault. <sighs> ah! I took my hands off the keyboard to fix my earbud for like one second. Assuming no one eats all the garlic. But maybe, maybe you'd still be safe though. Cause like, if you eat all the garlic, then fart all the garlic out on the vampires, they get horribly sick and run away in disgust. And therefore you don't die by vampires. Oh, 
is this? Delicious Northern Apple Stew. Restores 34% of max HP in addition. Ooh. I've got like a ton of these cooked chickens. That makes me want cooked chicken. Just a nice, like, grilled chicken. Or fried chicken. I like fried chicken. But then again, I eat so much fried chicken. Grilled chicken actually sounds better just because it's different. Yeah, got lucky that time. <laughs> That's a perfect timing. You mentioned a fart. There's the there's the vampire attack right there. Fire Master has started our offense against the vampire assault. Oh, oh. Use charge hacks to hit the fall and cross roots at the hypostasis and break it shit faster. Oh. Oh, it's healing. It's healing while it's doing that. Okay, I don't know what it's doing now. Free hits, I guess. Okay, well now we know what this hypostasis is gonna do. As though this fight wasn't already taking long enough. I know, right? I didn't want this fight to take this long. How long have I even been fighting this? <laughs> okay. Let's have Klee eat the food and then touch your meat. Where did I get this from? Increases all vampire members' physical damage by 40. Oh, but Klee does no physical damage, though. So that wouldn't really help. Decreases the rate of sheer cold activation for all party members for 900 seconds. Yeah, this will help. Okay, there we go. Using it. Still rising pretty quickly though. Uh, yeah, I no! I tried oh, to swap the character no, to save her! It never works! Clay is like the only one that's died at all this entire fight! Yeah, uh, ah no! Kachin, don't die okay. on me! I swear, guys, if we're eventually, eventually we'll no, get there. I didn't. Play. <sighs> uh, uh, the time limit before I can get another yeah. character back up. <laughs> You're working on dinner? You're fine! I don't know why you always apologize. You really don't have to. Time for takeoff. I'm just trying to take this guy out anyway. Okay, 17 seconds, and I'll be able to heal Klee. We're almost down to the point where he'll probably do that attack with the shield. I can't believe Kachin didn't just die to that. Life goes on. Yeah, 
The one thing I always thought was nice about the hypostasis is, was that you can heal even if their like shield is up. You don't need to have their shield down to heal with like Chi Chi's ability. But this guy, it just seems like he's really hard to hit. Like, at all. I don't get that. And, like, that attack, that specific attack is like the death of me. Go. The problem is that cold effect that slows me down. Okay, okay, so heal clean. Okay, okay, so we got clean heal. I need to save, I need to save my, stop! I need to save my stamina for when this guy's shield goes up. Can't do charge attacks without the shield. Without stamina, I mean. Okay, okay. I just realized that my gaming playlist has way too many Cali songs. You can never have too many Cali songs. Dead beats, lucky now. Dead beats, lucky now. Do 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 do. I hope I don't have to like do enough damage right after the shield to kill it though, and then it would just get its shield back out if I'm not quick enough. Cause that would really suck. He's really close to dying if I can just do enough damage. Bloom. Oh, yay. Some characters are gonna need that. GG. Thank you. Thank you. Am I getting, am I getting wood from this tree? No? Okay, here's wood. Let's all just get lumber. I came here to get lumber. I just saw him there. I never fought him before, so I decided to give it a try. It just took a really long time. But yeah, this is what I came here for, is the wood. I wanna just get enough wood and then get out of here before that bar fills up. It was a fatuity dude.
Yeah, just, just a little distraction. No big deal. Just a little one. Do you think that Fatui dude will share his fire? If I run over there? Probably not. <laughs> uh, if he sees me, it'll make me fight him. Won't we teleport if I'm in combat? Excuse me. I just need a source of heat. And you've got one. Can I just sit here for just a second? Thank you. No! Kalia songs? Yeah! Kalibi Mori? She's a rapper! She's got like a whole albums of songs. Have you not ever heard them? <laughs> Ew, there's an abyss mage over there. Uh Go, 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 get out of the water, out of the water, out of the water. It fills your bar up a lot faster if you're in the water. Oh but there's no there's no pine trees over here. Well I guess I got plenty of wood anyway though. Birchwood! Guess he didn't like you using this fire. I think he just doesn't like me. Reminds me of my Fatui friend that I ran into that one time. Everyone knows you use it. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, if you watch her, Henry, you wouldn't know that. I mean... Although, like, most of How I'm English has their own original songs. Um, I can't, I don't know if Ina's has come out yet. I know she had one in the works that was announced for her birthday. I'm not sure if it came out yet. I think the only one that I haven't seen any sort of song or announcement for a song for is Amelia Watson. But, like, Kiara has a couple original songs. Gura has an original song. I think Gura's is really cool, actually. It's this mix of, like, cute and ominous. I'd play it for you, but it'd probably give me like a copyright strike. I'm very proud that I haven't gotten a single copyright strike or a single copyright infringement on my channel at all. Doing the same thing, chopping wood. He wants to feel like he's playing with me. Okay. Um, let me get my teapot out. Default. I don't watch Hollow Life for a while. Just recently, they keep recommending Coco Reddit reviews, so I watch. Coco is one of the best Hollow Life girls. I miss her. Good morning, motherfucker. She's so cute. I, I miss Coco. I'm gonna miss her forever. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Okay. I got. I got the wood. Maybe I mean, those are easy enough to, to avoid. Just moment. don't play other people's content on your stream or YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty easy. Although, then again, like, sometimes, even if you just, like, play a game, sometimes even if there's just copyrighted music in the game you're playing, that could get you in trouble. So, it's, it's not always as simple as just, like, don't play someone else's videos or content, you know? I mean, I heard, like, I heard Nintendo even had a phase where they were, like, getting on people for playing their games at all. I'm happy I started streaming after that. Sandbearer wood. Cut from Midland. Cut from Leisha? This must be a place in Inazuma, because I've never, never once heard of this kind of wood. I've never heard of either of these places. Okay, I got an intricately carved calligraphy table. Can I make a chair? Oh, I need dye. I don't know how to get dye. Yeah, I need dye. How do I get dye? If you ever have any questions about the... I can confirm that Iris' music is a bot. Ah, Iris! I forgot about her for a bit. Yeah, I really like Iris. <laughs> Iris, it's Iris. I remember I wanted to catch her debut stream, but I wasn't able to. Of course, I'm not ever able to. Half the time I'm at work when, she sh when people stream. 
Like, I want to catch face streams. Can't catch face streams because I'm at work. I want to catch chapter streams. Like, I'm pretty sure chapters finished Hollow Knight. I got lucky to catch one Hollow Knight stream. One. Because I always work on Mondays, and that's when he does those. Yeah, either working or sleeping. They're never, they're never on my days off, and they're never, like, in the morning. There you go. Bam, we got more trees. Do you think my trust level's raised now? Maybe you're... Trust level. Oh! Oh, that's how you get more money! It's eight an hour? And it can raise 300. Do I really have to wait eight hours? Well, not eight hours. Eight hours. Do I really have to wait an hour just for eight coins? Oh, if I get to trust rank two, I can add another companion. Swimsuit Jean, here we come. I just want to... I don't know how to raise the trust rank. Wait, 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 wait. I think it just said. Create new furnishings to make the teapot spirit trust you more. Why does the Fruit Bot Spirit's trust hinge on me baking, making things to put in this if you ever... void? Why does your trust rely on me making things for the household? Obtain a hundred rum currency. And there's that. Ooh, I like I like some of these. Red setter curio stand. I want one of these. Put it in the hallways upstairs or something. I wanna see, um, here, do I need to like learn the blueprint? I know that's fragment. Okay, here they are. Use, use that, use that, and that, and that. Maybe you're not. I'm getting tired of you saying that every time I talk to you. Maybe you're not. Multi arch monster building. What does this do if I make this? Why does it take 14 hours to make it? I guess I might as well get started on that. Crazy and cute fall. It can only make one thing at a time, and I have it making the calligraphy table. Of course, I can, if I want to spend one of these, Vial of Adeptal Speed. A small bottle that seals some of the adeptal energy within. Will immediately complete a furnishing when used. So I could use one of these, but like, I don't know how hard these are to get. Are these easy to get if you use them? Or like, should I save these? This is also taking 14 hours. This isn't going to finish until tomorrow. Oh, but I wanted to make my pine folding. I need cloth for that too, and dye. I don't know how to get either of those. Why does the curio stand need dye? This needs another kind of dye. That would have been nice to have in there. 